very good morning students today we are going to see a topic uh, canonical correlation it's come under unit 2 uh, so it's like a mathematical term basically it came from uh, statistics so let's see what is canonical correlation so canonical correlation means it's basically we are uh, try to infer information from uh, cross covariance matrices in the sense suppose we are having two variables means usually we will find the similarities between two uh, variables isn't it so when we find the similarities uh, by creating new dimension we will try to be able to create maximum uh, correlation between this variable that's why we are using this canonical correlation uh, so set of uh, let us take a set of vectors x and y we are having uh, that is of random variables and uh, there is uh, there are correlation among those variable means uh, we will try to find linear combination of this x and y variable so that it have a maximum correlation with each other okay so we will elaborate it in the upcoming slides we'll see one by one so as i said earlier before going into canonical correlation simple correlation means there is no multiple variable so just x we are relating to y x on related to y multiple correlation means uh, so this y is actually attributable multi multiple number of x variable but there is in canonical true canonical correlation we have in both the sides multiple variables see here y1 y2 y3 here x1 x3 x3 so sequence of uh, set of variables we are trying to correlate with the set of variables okay so the most multivariate of the correlation model is uh, this canonical correlation uh, so basically uh, so it's a mathematical uh, term but still uh, it is very helpful for analyzing the data set that's why we are using it in the machine learning so this is all other model like anova anova uh, and pova and Man manova and lpf these are all part of this model only so this um, anova means nothing but it's analysis of variance analysis of covariance okay so these are the terms so that we no need to focus we'll just focus on the canonical uh, correlation okay then uses an alternative for canonical correlation so uh, when we talk about the uses just because there are multiple correlation uh, multiple criterion variable and multiple predictors doesn't mean that a canonical correlation is the best analysis for the data but still researchers they are uh, using this canonical correlation analysis the one of the most influenced method for the data um, similarity identification if your research hypothesis or questions are about correlation between specific criterion variable and specific predictor variable definitely use this specified set of pearson's correlation model okay so use hotelings and or rosenthal is that to test hypothesis about which correlations are larger than the others that also possible which predictors are more correlated with which uh, criterion variable okay so that is what uh, here then if your research uh, hypothesis or questions are about differences between the best model to understand or predict specific uh, criterion variable uh, then we need to uh, build this specified set of multiple regression models okay so use cross validation procedure and hotelling or rosenthal test um, to compare uh, multiple regression models yeah so if your research hypothesis as i said earlier it's about the difference between the model means definitely we can go for the cross validation procedure by imposing multiple regression model okay then let's take a look at how canonical correlation works to help understand when to use where to use whether we need to use a simple one or multiple regression that we need to focus so always we'll start with multiple y and x variable because in canonical expression or canonical variables in the sense we are having multiple x and y variables right so construct a canonical variate as the combination of y variables so by taking all the possibilities of y variable we are creating a canonical variate similarly we have to construct a canonical variate for uh, taking the combination of x variable okay so both the case we need to take now after that we have to uh, calculate this canonical correlation it is nothing but the correlation of the canonical variance both the variance cvy1 and cvx1 okay so that is the canonical relation or c that is equal to uh, canonical relations of uh, canonical variate uh, y1 canonical variate x1 
Okay, so this is the formula. First thing, uh, we need to uh, assign a weightage, right? So the weightage used to construct uh, the canonical variation variant y1 and canonical variant x1 are chosen to produce the largest possible uh, canonical relation. So, uh, so we have to choose obviously the best one so that we can able to get maximum correlation possible. So this is different from simple correlation, whereas weighting for x1 is chosen, so y mimics y. This is different from multiple correlation because waiting for x1, x2, etc. chosen to maximize the correlation of y with y. But here we have more than one y, right? So in canonical correlation, the weightage for the y variables and for the x variables are chosen simultaneously to maximize the correlation between the constructed x variant and the constructed y variant. So the simultaneous uh, chosen happen here. Second thing, uh, there can be multiple canonical. As I said earlier, max is the smaller of the number of criterion and number of predictors. Uh, like um, we have to decide if we have a concentrated or diffuse structure. So, so these things we have to analyze further in order to get the maximum canonical relation. So canonical correlation is used instead of comparison among selected simple or uh, and or multiple correlation. Here uh, research questions are about which combination of criterion variables are related to which combination of predictors. So, the, because it's all about combination, right? So, research questions are about whether the set of variables have a concentrated or a diffuse correlational structure. So, we need to focus on the structure as well as the combination. So, we have to choose the best possible way so that we can able to get the better canonical correlation. So, we'll see one example. We will, let's have a set of interrelated uh, criterion variables. Example, five measures of depression and want to know if they all share the same relation with the predictor. So, it's a concentrated structure, right? So, we have a predefined structure like five uh, measures we are taking all and all. Then, have two set of predator variables and want to show that one set is most useful for one understanding the one criterion variable and the other set is most useful for understanding a different set of criterion variables. Have two set of predictors variable also, and one we will focus on the structure, and one we will focus on the maximizing the outcome. So, steps of inspecting and describing a canonical relation, correlation. So, first thing is we have to determine the number of canonical variance and correlation. So, maximum number is uh, so when we take up a maximum number, so smaller of predictors are greater. So, canonical relation is tested for. Uh, uh, starting from zero, okay. Then evaluate the strength of each canonical relationship. That is, uh, canonical relationship is, uh, is a shared variance between x and y variant. Interpret each canonical variant, structure weight, uh, tell which variable related to which variant. Standardize regression weight, tell about the unique contribution of variables to uh, variance, okay. So these things we have to uh, keep in mind and uh, when we talk about the uh, canonical uh, uh, correlation, so you have to uh, assign the weight appropriately. So depicting and describing shared variance in canonical correlation. So there are three kind of shared variance in, variance in canonical correlation. One is the uh, uh, Canonical correlation uh, relation that is squared canonical correlation that is RC square and another one is PC and third one is redundancy coefficient that is RC. Okay, so so RC square it is a squared canonical correlation. Here the variance shared between the corresponding Y and X canonical variance variance. Then PC variance shared between a canonical variant and the set of variables from which it is constructed. An index of how well that, uh, that canonical variant represents the set of variables. Then it is actually computed as an average value, right? So average structure weight for that canonical variant. Then redundancy coefficient is nothing but uh, it's an index of how well a canonical variant represents the other set of variables. Or we can call it as it's a shared between a canonical variant from one set of variables with the other set of variables. So how far it is taken? Then uh, so this will be depicted in this upcoming diagram. So you can see these are the formulas. So end of the day, it's just we are calculating the PC value, we are calculating the RC square value. So that is variation shared between the canonical variant and um, 
so uh, this is the formula by taking the um, value so all these three formulas we have to uh, calculate with the help of the respective formula uh, so rc square that is square the canonical relation then uh, pc and uh, coefficient all these three things we have to calculate okay so that uh, end of the time we can easily identify the relation between the um, uh, relations between the variables so the old story was that a small dependency coefficient means the canonical correlation analysis was uninteresting or misleading but the new story of uh, redundancy coefficient can be small for two different reasons that have very different interpretation so either good the cv co canonical coefficient is strongly composed of a minority of the variables in that set uh, often denotes specificity uh, among the variables okay for, for prerequisite for education structure then that's a weakly composed one we can say this is key okay so it may be a new it may be a good or it may be a uh it's a majority of the variable in that set so often denote that constructed related to the other variables is not well represented by this one so um so end of the day uh, we are trying to find the similarity in a linear uh, combination and uh, so that we can able to uh, retrieve the new features efficiently when we are using this canonical uh, analysis